coming today. It's very nice of you to be here. Today, um, my back was really, really killing me. And I thought, well, better call my chiropractor, you know? But in the time it took for you to come here, I had an inspiration to paint. So I hope you don't mind. But when I am feeling inspired like this, I cannot stop, not even for my back pain. So I'm sorry, but I hope that it's okay if you wait a little bit for me, okay? I don't think it should be too long. I have to wait a little bit for my paint to dry and then I'll do another layer, you know? So, hopefully you don't mind. I'm so sorry to make you come here all the way for nothing for now. But, you know, you took your time, so... That's what you get, I suppose. Yes, I just had a very strong feeling like I had to really... I had to paint. I'm sorry. I'm working on a few paintings for my new exhibit. My exhibition. Ah, uh, yes, we are going again to America. The land of the free and the home of the brave and all that. Really interesting things, but mm. I don't think it's all that, you know. Anyway, what Diego wants, what Diego gets. Don't get me wrong, I have my own secrets from him as well. We can keep those to myself for now, anyway. Mm -hmm. Should I paint a little bit more here? Sorry, I get a little bit very focused on my paintings. And I'm mixing colors and applying. I like to apply colors like on a patchier level I don't mind when people watch me actually, it's really relaxing so if you don't mind waiting I don't mind painting in front of you anyway, you've seen me like half naked anyway so that's fine yeah, I woke up today with a horrible, horrible back pain and I think that's what it is. I think it's just that metal thing that's in my back going crazy again. I don't want to have another surgery, but maybe we don't know. Up doing another Morales. He leaves me alone most of the time, so I lost the time to paint, and I'm not mad about that. Mm -hmm. I usually use like a mix uh, of um, oils, you know, whatever I have lying, lying around. So it's not a big deal, really. But I prefer this medium. I feel like my art style has changed quite a bit since I first started. Oh yeah. Definitely. What's that? Mm-hmm. Why I dress up for painting? <laughs> I like to look my best. 
especially because I have a mirror right there and I like to look at myself sometimes when I'm painting yeah. it's another self-portrait of course what else would it be, right? I'm known as the self-portrait queen, I'm not gonna change who gives a, who gives a damn, right? in the end we all have our, our quirks and the things we like the best to paint is fine whatever suits you I think anyway for me anyway I try to mix many colors when applying I'm doing my skin base for the moment right now it looks okay but then again we are painting inside I don't have my regular light usually I like to paint outside because I have my capuchins outside and my uh, my parrot my cat make me feel nice and comfortable so sweet they come and they kiss me and that's nice so it makes me feel more at home you know inside just feels so so stuck so boring kind of like America I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's how I felt when I went there don't get me wrong it's a beautiful place very beautiful but the people there they like to think about this this, you know what this is? the narrow baby and that's what they like to think about it's all a big company, that country a big, big company everybody try to sell you something you walk down the street, they try to sell you something it's not like the mercado here, no yeah, yeah, people try to sell you something, you walk down the street, but then it's not advertised, you know what I'm saying yeah that is all commercial, 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 one after the other what is it? I don't know I really don't know I cannot tell you worst thing being helped around mm -hmm. when I went there it was all you know I had to have somebody to help me around because I need help to walk you know that I've done polio but it brought me close to my father so I cannot complain about that I feel like I was his favorite out of all of us it's true you know he had another family before before he got married to my mother he came from Germany yeah, he's European so I'm half European can you imagine that? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that but that's what it is, you know. I'm pretty sure he was Jewish. Yeah, pretty sure. Like ninety nine point nine percent. You can go quote, quote me on that if you want. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, I just slap on the color like this Like this And then maybe afterwards I, I go back and I fix something But really I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, you know what I mean I just paint what I see and what I see is me You know, when I was lying in that bed for months, months
months, months, months. All I saw was me. And I paint what I know best. I saw my cheekbones, I saw my chin, I saw my mouth. And I started to get to know myself on a much deeper level, I think. That bus crashing in the bus was maybe the best thing that happened to my life. And also the worst thing. Contemporarily. Don't know how else to explain it really, really. Life hands you horrible experiences and you just gotta roll with it. You have to go along with it. Sure. It can be difficult, it can be very hard. But if you can do it, imagine many, many people before you could do it, so you can do it too. That's what I gotta say. Especially because this lighting is horrible. 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 Usually I paint outside, like I said. But since it's raining and everything, I figured when you got that feeling like you just gotta paint, you gotta do it. Because mine comes and goes, you know, it's like a mood. You gotta feel the mood to, to paint. Don't get a, if you don't got the mood, then you will, you're, you know, it's not gonna look good. That's what it is. It's not gonna look good. You're gonna waste your time, you're gonna waste your energy, and you, it's gonna look all messy. Messy, 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 messy. messy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's right. I did. Yeah, I had my first sex page uh, maybe a few years ago. A few years ago now, yes. It's been a while. That got some recognition. That's true. But I feel like my style has evolved a lot since then. Have you seen some of my older paintings? I keep some older ones, but I don't show anyone, okay? So don't bring a photo camera with you if I'm gonna show you some in my studio upstairs. Yeah, we're in the Casa Azul. And this side is my place, my house, okay? The other side is Diego's and we don't go there. No, we're like married, but it's like a separation marriage, you know what I mean? Well, he got his own place and I got my own place because I need my spaces. That's what I need, my own spaces. Because I got to paint my own way. I don't want anyone to look at it. I don't want anyone to see it. I need my time, I need my space, I need my concentration. I need for people not to come into my studio and mess up my works or judge me before it's even finished, you know? That's the worst part, when people look at your painting and they start judging it before it's even finished. Oh goodness, no. It's not good, it's not good at all. Hmm? Ah, yeah, that happened. Yes, it did. We were separated for a while, that's true. You heard it right. Oh, he just so he cheated on me with my sister, that's all. Oh, yeah. How the French say they say c'est la vie, right? Yeah, she was a little bit crazy too. That's fine. That's fine. 
But that's love, you know. Life hands you crazy, crazy cards and you just gotta roll with it. That's what I always say. Just roll, roll with it because... Without that experience, I don't think my art style would have taken more of a change again. Because I feel like after everything that I've been through, my art style changes again and again and again. And again and again and again and again and again and again. And again and again and again. All the time. So after every traumatic experience, I feel like I gain a level in my creative works. In my painting. In my art. It's important for people to to notice that not all good things come easy, you know? Yep. It was difficult to get here. it after, please. No, 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 because I'm in a role, how they say in America. I'm on a, I'm on a role. No, I don't want to be messed up right now. Please do not come near me. I gotta finish this part because I feel like really, really, I'm on, I'm on to something. something of mine, I end up being like a therapist or something. <laughs> and you just tell me all your worries, all your problems. Yes. You can do that, it's okay. I mean, I feel like all artists are a little bit of, a little bit like therapists. Sometimes even just the art, the art itself is therapy, you know? You look at it and you see something and you open up emotion and all So tell me, what's going on with you? What's wrong? I see a little bit. I see overthinking, I feel. You have to stop doing that now. You're calling my energy. <laughs> Make it difficult to paint here. Yeah. Tell me. Andale. Tell me what's wrong. What happened? Hmm? What's going on with you? Mm-hmm. Aye, aye. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, 
feels very normal to feel that way Sometimes you feel like you're not enough for some, some people But you know what? The most important thing is that you are enough for yourself Why do you think I paint on my mustache? Why do you think I paint on my unibrow? You, you think it is all natural? No I add to it I make myself more dramatic because they are, re they are already making fun of me Especially in America They look at me and they say What is going on with this woman? She's crazy She's not normal You know what I say? Okay I see that You already hate me without even knowing me, right? So I'm gonna take the thing you hate And I'm gonna amplify it So you hate me more But I love myself so it's fine You can hate me all you want People who hate other people without meeting them That's really... Don't let me get started on that one, really Seriously You just Keep doing what you do Doesn't matter if people judge you They say mean things about you or they They say You know, you're not enough You're enough You know you're enough You're good you good? Yeah, yeah. Feed that. Just by you coming here, fixing my alignment, helping me with massaging my back, that's enough for me, really. I appreciate you. I thank you all the time whenever you come here, you know that. The best physiotherapist I know. And trust me, I had a lot of them Okay, ever since I was a little girl You know that They try to pull my leg to make it longer than the other one Pull your man, they really mess you up mm -hmm. It was not a good experience for me But It taught me a lot of things I'm grateful for that And I'm also grateful for you You know? Yeah Don't tell you maybe not often enough But I am really grateful for you You always help me And you always come here when I have I'm in need of something I need, need of help Yeah I really appreciate you I really appreciate you very very much Do us all this painting, really Yes, because you gotta keep your back straight when you paint But it's so difficult for me because You know, I got it all crooked Still doesn't, doesn't help me whatsoever I try my best I really do, I really do I take your advice Stand up straight, I used the brace that you gave me last time Yeah, yeah, it was good but it doesn't help me, you know? Yeah, I need more support I need to, I need to get some kind of chair that makes me With like a... Some kind of... Oh, what is it called? Like a... A cintura Yeah, like a belt or something that'll... Hold me down That's what I need I need like a straight jacket I need to go to a crazy house To Cuckoo Arena You read right about that? Absolutely read right about that. That's true. Yes. All artists are a little bit crazy. But you know what? I think that's what makes really good art. 
You gotta be crazy to make really good art, you know? If you're normal and you think normal things, you make normal things. That's natural, you know? If you're a little bit loca, you make loca things. Sometimes it's better than normal. We see normal things day to day, we don't want to see them in art too. That's just boring. Yeah, sure, you can create a landscape, you can do all that, and sometimes very beautiful. Don't get me wrong, sometimes very, very beautiful. I prefer to create things that are a little bit more whimsical. 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 What a funny word. Whimsical. Whimsical. Yeah, sometimes I create a I don't really understand what this color is, like green and kaki. What is it? I'm just trying to mix and make something out of it, I don't know. a lot of water, not water, like um, like um, different mineral oils and things like that, just to dilute it a little bit, because or else it will just be such a strong color, and it won't mix good, you know, yeah, mix well, I'm sorry, they say my English is really good in, in America, I got a good, a good accent, they say. Wow, you got a good accent. You we went to a good school. Sí, gracias. Went to a good school. Where did you go? get a little bit out of focus. You were talking to me about your family. Continue, continue. I listen, don't worry. I'm a woman, I know how to multitask. Both of them, they told me not, uh, you know, to think twice before marrying Diego. They didn't outwardly say it. My mother, she's a little bit more, you know. My father, he said, okay, go for it. He got money, he can support you, right? My mother was a little bit, she didn't know about it. She thought, you know, I said, mm, I'm so, like, you know, like a little girl, like a little, a weak, weak girl. And he's such a big man, right? Like, is it really a good match? Don't 
And you gotta listen to your mother. That's all I gotta say. I don't regret marrying Diego, you know? I'm not one of those people that regrets things. Lots of people, they say, oh, I regret marrying so-and-so. No, 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 no. I don't regret anything. Life is meant to hold experiences. If you don't experience it, you're not living, right? It makes me just wanna snap, you know. But I don't regret marrying him, no. Completely change the tone of the painting. I didn't mean to do that. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want some of my advice? You want free advice? Don't let other people decide your fate for you you want to do something you do it that's all they got a problem with it that's their problem that's in their their head not in your head it's in their mind therefore it's their problem you understand mm? this is easy You gotta, you gotta live your life for you, honey. That's what I say. Don't live for anyone else. Do what you like. Be unapologetic about it too. Because if you're gonna go around saying sorry, sorry, sorry to everybody, you gotta, you're gonna say sorry to the whole world, and your life is just gonna be that. It's gonna be one big apology. You're not gonna do that. No, no. on you, make yourself happy. That's what I say. <laughs> I feel like every time you come here, I always give you advice all the time. All the time. Advice, advice, advice. I should have been a therapist. Well, I was gonna be a doctor, but then this happened.
almost done painting the first piece to this painting then I come back tomorrow and paint a little bit more hopefully it stopped raining at that point so in a few minutes you wanna go ahead and and align me that would be really great really helpful You got your tools with you? Okay. Okay. Mi amor, we're ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, I cannot take a one, one more minute. My whole back is killing me, it's been killing me. I feel like I'm leaning to one side. I feel like the, the Tower of Pisa right now. Yes, honey, go, go, go. I wait for you here. Okay. We've been. resemblances on 